This is eDevice week 5 tutorial 7. I'll be going through two questions in this tutorial here, uh, namely question 2 as well as question 3. So let's look at question 2 here first. We are given a base bias circuit in figure Q2. And for part A of this question, we are supposed to find the Q point, which is the uh, coordinates for the Q point, namely ICQ and VCEQ. And then in part B, we are supposed to find the IC saturation current as well as the VCE of. In part C, we are to draw the DC load line and indicate clearly all the above points. Okay, so let's look at part A here. Uh, to start with finding uh, ICQ, we have to actually remove uh, the uh, capacitors C1 as well as C2 because ICQ and VCQ are actually DC parameters. Now, after removing IC, uh, sorry, the, the two capacitors C1 and C2 here, uh, the current IB is actually uh, originating from this uh, VCC here. Okay, and then the base current will actually travel uh, through the base terminal and before it actually passes through the B junction and then to ground. Okay, so looking at this path of the IB current here, right, to find ICQ, we need to actually uh, derive the formula for IB okay, using this KVL loop here. Okay, this KVL loop. So by KVL, the VCC is actually providing the voltage to the base resistor RB as well as to the B junction. So therefore VCC will then be equals to IB RB add to VBE. Okay, and then we can just actually uh, rearrange this uh, equation here to simply give IB. Okay, so IB will then be equals to VCC minus VBE over RB okay and then uh, the values for VCC, VB and RB we just put inside so we have 5 volts minus 0 0.7 volts divided by 200 kilo ohms so that will give us an uh, answer of 21.5 microamps for IB okay to calculate the ICQ uh, of this base bias, so ICQ is equals to beta DC times IB. We are to substitute the values of IB into this equation here. The beta DC is actually given as 100. Okay, so therefore we have 100 times 21.5 microamperes. So therefore ICQ will be equals to 2.15 milliamperes. And then if we uh, want to find VCEQ, right, to find VC, VCEQ, okay, so we actually have to use this vertical KVL loop here. So the vertical KVL loop will actually start from VCC here. Again, we say that VCC is actually providing a voltage to RC as well as to the VCE junction here. Okay, so therefore to find VCE, we use the vertical KVL loop. Okay, so using the vertical KVL loop, uh, we will have VCC being equals to IC, IC times RC plus VCE. Because we are looking for VCEQ, so therefore we have to substitute this equation here with ICQ value. And hence, we can actually rearrange this equation to give us VCEQ. VCEQ will then be equals to VCC minus ICQ multiplied with RC. So VCC in this case is 5 volts. ICQ is 2.15 milliamps from earlier calculations uh, multiplied with 1.8 kilo ohms, the resistance of uh, RC. So calculating this, we have uh, VCQ of 1.13 volts. Now, uh, to solve for IC set as well as VC of in part B, uh, I will use the next page. So to find IC set uh, for this uh, circuit in figure Q2, to find IC set, note that the current IC is actually lying in this vertical KVL loop here. Okay, so therefore, we have to use the KVL vertical loop. Okay, now, uh, and also, 
this IC in the load line, right? The load line is actually IC versus VCE graph, right? This is the load line here. So IC set is actually residing in this uh, vertical axis here. Okay, so this is actually IC set. Okay, and on this uh, point here, right? Uh, we can see that there is actually no VCE uh, value. So VC is actually equal to zero. So therefore, if we want to find IC set using the vertical KVL loop, we also have to set the VCE as zero volts. Okay, so therefore, uh, using KVL vertically down, so we have VCC is equals to IC RC plus VCE. Okay, this is where the VCE voltage comes from. Now, since VCE is set to zero volts, so therefore the IC used to find right is actually IC saturation here. Okay, so therefore IC saturation is just the division of VCC uh, with RC. That will be equal to five volts over one point eight kilo ohms. And the answer for IC set will then be equals to 2.8 milliamperes. Okay, so this IC set here will be 2.8 milliamperes. And if we want to find VCE of next, okay, to find VCE of Again, uh, VCE because it lies along the uh, vertical KVL loop, so therefore we have to use KVL vertically down. Okay, and uh, if we look back uh, from this DC loop line here, which is IC versus VCE, okay, uh, VCE of is actually riding, is actually uh, residing, okay, on the uh, horizontal axis. So this is actually where VCE, VCE of is. If you want to find VCE of, you can see that at this point here, right, uh, the IC value is actually equals to 0 amps. Okay, so therefore we have to use uh, IC as 0 amps in the equation that we derive using KVL. So by KVL, we will derive the same uh, KVL equation vertically down, which is VCC is equals to IC RC plus VCE. We have to set IC as 0 amps, okay, so that this VCE here can be equal to VCE of. Okay? So therefore, VCE of is actually equals to the VCC value, which is 5 volts. For part C, we are supposed to draw the DC load line and then label everything that we have actually uh, uh, calculated before. Okay, so this is the DC load line here. It's IC versus VCE. The DC load line is just a straight line cutting across two points. This point here on the uh, vertical axis is the uh, IC saturation. Okay, so this is actually equals to 2.8 milliamperes. Okay, uh, the other point that cuts on the uh, horizontal axis, this is actually VCE of. So VCE of is actually equals to VCC, which is 5 volts. Okay, uh, the Q point that we actually uh, uh, calculated earlier, ICQ as well as VCQ, uh, it's 1.13 volts as well as 2.15 milliamps. So we have to uh, put this down here. Okay, so this is where 1.13 volts is lying roughly. Okay, this is our Q point here. And the current will be 2.15 milliamps. Okay, so this is our VCEQ and this is our ICQ value. So this is for question 2. I move on to question 3 here now. Okay, so for this question 3 here, again we are given a base bias uh, uh, circuit, transistor circuit here. Okay, we are given also the uh, beta DC as 90 and the VB is 0 0.7 volts. So uh, part A of this question, we are supposed to find again the ICQ and the VCEQ. Okay, so to start with, uh, we have to remove C1 and C2 from the circuit okay, because the, the 
ICQ and the VCQ are actually VC parameters. Okay, that's why we have to remove uh, both capacitors C1 and C2. And uh, next, we analyze that the current IV actually originates from the VCC. Then IV travels through the V junction before it goes to ground. Okay, so therefore, this is the KVL loop that we will actually use to calculate for IV. So by KVL, right, we will have uh, VCC, okay, is equals to IV, RB, uh, add to VVE. Okay, so uh, this VCC here, right, is providing voltage to RB as well as to this VVE junction here. Okay, and then we can actually rearrange the formula to give IB, right, being equals to VCC minus VBE over RB. Okay, so the value for VCC is 12 volts minus of VBE, which is 0 0.7 volts, divided by the value of RB, which is 22 kilo ohms. So calculating this, we will have a value of 514 microamperes for IB. Okay, then we will use this value of IB here to calculate for ICQ. In which case, uh, ICQ will then be uh, calculated using this formula, beta DC times IB. Okay, so uh, beta DC is given as 90, right? So it's 90 multiplied with 514 microamperes. So ICQ will then be equals to 46.3 milliamperes. To find VCEQ, right? So uh, VCQ is lying here. This is VCQ, right? So it's actually lying along the vertical KVL loop. Okay, so that's why we have to use the KVL vertical loop. Okay, um, it will start from VCC again, right? So it will, it will actually be providing voltage to RC as well as to this VCQ here. Okay, so therefore the formula for this uh, KVL loop, right, vertical KVL loop, will be equals to uh, VCC equals to IC RC plus VCE. Now because we are to calculate for VCEQ, so therefore the IC here will have to be uh, substituted with the uh, ICQ value. Okay, so rearranging, we will have VCEQ is equals to VCC minus IC Q R C. So this will be 12 volts minus 46.3 milliamperes multiplied with 100 ohms. Okay, the final answer for VCQ will then be equals to 7.37 volts. So we have answered part A of this question here. Next, we will go on to part B uh, to find the IC set as well as the VCE off. Okay? And then uh, in part C, we are to explain briefly uh, if it is a midpoint bias circuit. So I will start part B on the next page. So from what we have learned in uh, question 2, right, to find the IC set, okay, uh, we actually make use of the vertical KVL loop, okay, and then we also have to set the VCE value as zero volts, okay. This is the vertical KVL loop here, okay, and this is where VCE is. So deriving the KVL loop, we have VCC being equals to IC RC add to VCE. Now because the VCE we have to set to zero volts, okay, in order for us to have IC as IC set. Okay, so therefore if we rearrange the equation for IC set, okay, IC set will then become equals to uh, VCC over RC. VCC in this case is 12 volts divided by RC, which is 100 ohms. So that will give us an answer of 
120 milli amperes for IC set. And then if we want to find VCE off, so we also have to use the uh, vertical KVL loop, okay, and then we also have to set the current IC as equals to zero amperes, okay. So the uh, equation for the K vertical KVL loop is actually VCC is equals to IC. RC plus VCE is the same. Okay, but now because we are trying to find uh, VCE off, okay, so therefore we have to set IC as 0 amperes. Okay, and what we have left is just VCE off being equals to the VCC, which is uh, 12 volts. Then for part C, right? Uh, we need to determine whether this uh, Q point that we derived earlier, right, uh, is actually a midpoint bias. Okay, so the Q point that we have just now, right, the uh, coordinates is of uh, 7.37 volts, okay, and uh, 46.3 milliamperes, okay. So this 7.37 volts here is actually the VCEQ value and this 46.3 milliamps here is actually the ICQ value. Okay, so we, we need to compare this with the midpoint. Okay? The midpoint in this case, right, um, coordinates is as such. Midpoint okay, uh, will be equals to half of VCE of as well as half of IC saturation. Okay, so half of VC off is actually six volts. Okay, and half of IC set is sixty milliamperes. Okay, so if you compare uh, these two coordinates here, right, you can see that uh, since the VCEQ right uh, is not equals to uh, half of the VCE off okay and also because the ICQ is also not equals to half of IC saturation okay so therefore it is you can conclude that it is not bias at the midpoint. That ends my uh, revision for this uh, question 3 here.